so Mr. Gross introduced the speech to me. And I thought, what am I going to do? I don't have much of a life. I'm not like everybody else. I don't go out and party with my friends all the time. And that's when I realized that since my life has been so much more, that I spent so much time with my grandfather, he is most of my life. Like a lot of the people in this room, my family has been big time hunters. So inevitably, the story is going to turn to honey. And I'm going to tell you the story about a year that my grandfather shot while I was with him. We were out November 15th. And three weeks before this, we have been diagnosed with lung cancer. That November 15th was the perfect one. The sun was just coming up. The frost in the trees was just starting to drip off and melt. The deer were finally starting to My grandpa, he's always been kind of trigger happy. We were sitting up in the blind. He told me any buck that we saw, I could shoot. About 10 o'clock, I hear, here we go. He picks up the, his crown jewel, his 44 mag, and sticks it out the window. Well, at this point, all I see is a doe. So, like the smart kid I am, instead of looking for the deer with my eyes first, I automatically stick my gun up the window and try to find the scope. My crosshairs just locked down a buck. Right here. Boom! The 44 go off. And I watch a deer run off in the brush. When I turn and I look to the man, I said, get him? He goes, I think so. At that moment, I was more excited than I had to do. Sure to do. But, me and my grandfather's relationship, before this point, they went a long ways back, ever since I was a baby. There's a music video that's country, so I'm going to a little bit. <laughs> but it really shows the relationship. So when I play this music video, just pay attention to the relationship between this kid and his grandpa. Yeah. 
probability of t And we didn't hit it off right off the bat. Sean was very outgoing and on the beer out. I was very shy. For Sean, he always made an effort with that book. So we became friends. The next summer, we spent three days in the same cabin. this thing about my shyness that ate me up. And the problem was with Sean and all this is I had a really, really, really hard time talking to girls. They're mean. Cool. <laughs>